Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Pro Photos LA. My name is Okoye Amos and I am a photographer based out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today I'm going to be reviewing this guy right here. Yes, the Nikon Z9 is in my hands. I'm going to be doing a review of this camera. Had a chance to, uh, I received it, had a chance to play with it take some shots with it and I must say that I absolutely love it. Nikon definitely knocked it out of the park when they made this camera. Shout out to the great company over in Dallas, Texas, Competitive Camera for uh for my Nikon Z9s. Actually, I ordered two from Competitive Cameras. Uh let me just start off by saying I am not NPS. Once again, I am not NPS, but I've always done business with competitive camera coming out of Dallas, Texas. These guys run a legitimate company. They're great business people, first class organization. And I highly recommend if some of you are not, have not uh, received your Nikon Z9, some of you may be on the fence. You don't want to wait in those long lines for months and months and months and months. Please give competitive cameras out of Dallas, Texas a call Highly, highly, highly reputable company. Great service, great people. I've been doing business with them for years. I'm not sponsored by them, but when people, uh, when, 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 when businesses uh, 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 treat their customers the way customers should be treated, uh, to me, uh, you can't beat that. And Competitive Camera has always treated me and a lot of other people uh, with the utmost respect and courtesy, and they've always been professionals. Let me just say this also. Zero sales tax. Zero sales tax. I'm out of Louisiana. They're based in Dallas. I didn't have to pay any, any sales tax. And if you're out of state, uh, uh, live out of the state of Texas as well, give those guys, uh, those guys a call. It could save you a lot of money, especially when we're talking about saving on sales tax. So once again, going to be reviewing the Nikon Z9. Got a big SCC matchup down here in Baton Rouge. Got the LSU Tigers facing off against the uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs. Going to be a tremendous battle. I just peeped my head outside. Uh, right now in Baton Rouge, it's pretty hot. I think it's around 88 degrees. So it's going to be a hot day. But with this camera and I have bringing my Atomos uh, Ninja uh, 5 uh, with me so I can record uh, my settings. So you can look at those settings and you can get a general idea of uh, what's your take on the Nikon Z9? Some of you may be on the fence. Some of you may like it. Some of you may, may have you know, heard some of the great reviews about it. Maybe some of you have seen some reviews, but maybe you shoot sports and you're still on the fence because you've never seen anyone do a, you know, a comprehensive uh, review on the camera at a sporting event such as you know, a, a college football game. So hopefully this video can help you guys out make that decision. Uh, give you some brief background about me. Been shooting uh, photos and video for a long time, over 30 years. Got my first camera back in uh, the early 80s. In fact, it's right behind me. Hold on for a second. I still keep it. Love it. Never parts ways with it. Uh, I still have my uh, Canon AE-1 35mm program camera, again, from the early 1980s. Uh, this is my baby. And once again, I'll never, ever part with it. But once again, if the Nikon Z9 was on the line, I may. Now, let's talk about parting ways. Before I purchased the Nikon Z9, uh, again, I was a Nikon shooter, had Nikon gear. I had several Nikon uh, D5 bodies, had a Nikon D4S, Nikon D4, uh, and several Nikon D50, uh, I'm sorry, D850s, and Nikon F glass. Guess what? Sold it all. Once I heard the specs, saw some of the reviews, saw some videos about this, about this bad boy right here, this Nikon Z9, I was hooked. I was sold. And so once again, contacted the great guys over at Competitive Cameras. Didn't take long for, for me to receive my cameras. I've been playing uh, with it a lot. People, this camera is the real deal. This camera is the real deal. My goodness. People, I thought 
that the Nikon D5. I really thought that as far as far as a professional sports camera, I I honestly thought it could not get any better than the Nikon D5. I've never shot with the Nikon D6, never. But that Nikon D5, my goodness, my goodness, that was a camera. Uh, that is a camera. It's a great camera. And I thought that I would never part ways with it. But when I heard the specs and I heard the reviews and I saw the reviews, things of that nature, and I've been shooting with this, this is just my opinion, people. This camera is much better than the Nikon D5. Now, once again, I've never shot with the Nikon D6. Who knows? But the Nikon D5, my goodness, once again, if a camera is better than the Nikon D5, people, that says a lot. And it shows that Nikon really, really, really put a lot of thought, engineering, and some of the best uh, uh, functions, camera functions, some of the things that you can use when you talk about the 3D face detection, the pet, de uh, the dog and pet detection, airplane uh, 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 detection, things of that nature, uh, the frames per second, the, the precision uh, focusing. Again, the Nikon D5, the autofocus was so fast. Or so, I'm sorry, I keep saying was. The Nikon uh, D5, the autofocus is so fast, it's so precise, it's so lightning quick. In my opinion, just my opinion, and once again, uh, when you see the footage, you make, you'll make the, the decision for yourself. In my opinion, the autofocus speed of the Nikon Z9 is much superior than the Nikon D5. So am I saying you need to sell your Nikon D5? Not at all. But in my professional opinion, this camera, everything about it is Nikon's best work ever. Uh, I, 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 maybe there's a camera in your opinion that, that, that can uh, compete with this, but right now I don't think there's a camera out here that can, that can compete with this. So I'm going to load up my vehicle going to head down to Tiger Stadium. Like I said, I got my Atmos Ninja 5. I'm going to be recording my settings. Let you guys look at those things. And, hey, you make the decision for yourself. So going to head to Tiger Stadium. Stay tuned. Watch the video. Leave comments. You tell me what you think about the Nikon Z9.
So I switched to my 70 to 200. Once again, auto focus. Real snappy. Excellent. Using back button auto focus. If the D6 is faster than this, wow, somebody, somebody leave that in the comment section. Wow, that's fast. Alright, let's go to another setting. Just bear with me. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to wide area single. Switch again. I'm gonna go with a wide area large. Ladies and gentlemen, your Louisiana State University Tiger Marching Band. Change up again. Gonna take it from the top. Gonna go to single point.
So, what do you think? Is the Nikon Z9 the best camera out there on the market? Is the Nikon Z9 the best sports camera on the market? Did you see the autofocus speed? Did you see how quick and, and precise that this thing, uh, the manufacturing, the engineering that Nikon has put into this camera? Do you see the precision, how fast it autofocus? Even if you, uh, when you looked at the video of uh, the Mississippi State Bulldogs, I think that was their linebacking uh, 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 core. When, you, when, 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 when the setting was placed on uh, 3D face detection, did you see how the face detection stayed with them, pretty much locked on to them? Did you see how I was able to show foreground, background, foreground, background, foreground, background, things of that nature to show you how fast the autofocus speed in, uh, is on it? Uh, when you look at the, uh, the touchdown run by the LSU running back, when you look at the touchdown run from the uh, Mississippi State uh, running back, my goodness, the Nikon Z9 was locked in on it. Wow, it's just a great camera, great camera. So, again, is the Nikon Z9 for everybody? Uh, hey, that, that, uh, who can answer that question? Nine times out of ten, only you can answer that. Because the Nikon Z9, from a sports shooter's perspective, people who do this uh, for a living, especially when you talk about high-end sports, you saw what it can do. This is a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous camera. Once again, I am not sponsored by Nikon. I do not get a dime from them. But again, I just wanted to give a a review to show you that from a sports uh, photographer's perspective, anybody, uh, all my sports photographers out there, you cannot go wrong with this baby. There's no way you cannot go wrong with this baby. The Nikon Z9 is, in my opinion, the finest camera that is out there today. Nikon definitely did a great job with the engineering and all the hard work that they put into this. I'm going to continue to make uh, reviews about this camera. Uh, also, again, showing you the settings with the Atomos Ninja 5. And once again, leave comments. You tell me or you tell us or you tell the listening audience, what do you think about it? What did you learn from some of the settings that you saw today when you saw the lightning, lightning fast autofocus, when you saw the precision focus, when you saw being able to rack back and forth, back and forth, pinpoint, uh, uh, blazing speed autofocus. My goodness, you can't tell me that was not impressive, people. So once again, signing off, my name is Akoye Amos with Pro Photos LA based out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, with my review for the Nikon Z9. Once again, leave your comments. You tell me what you think about it. Is this camera the best camera out on the market today i think it is but hey it's only my opinion you guys have a great day and thank you for watching see you on the next video